Live from the Sands Convention Center in Las Vegas, Nevada, it's The Cube at AWS reInvent 2014. Brought to you by headline sponsors, Amazon and Trend Micro. Okay, welcome back everyone. We are here, day two, wall-to-wall -wall coverage. This is theCUBE, we're live in Las Vegas for Amazon reInvent. This is the show of the century. It's happening right now, the, the, the earth, earth is shaking. This is theCUBE, extracting the signal from the noise, our flagship program. I'm John Furrier, founder of SiliconANGLE. Our next guest is Mike Dauber, general partner, founder, co-founder of Amplify uh, Partners. I was going to say Benjamin, Amplify Partners. Welcome back to theCUBE. Good to see you again, John, thanks. Um, congratulations, so let's just get the kind of the news uh, out there. You guys have launched, you now have a new fund. You're yeah. the co-founder uh, with Sunil, your partner, uh, formerly with Battery Ventures, a uh, world-class firm, um, out on your own. Out, out on our own, yeah. We, we left the nest. So actually, just to, to one quick correction. So Sunil left two years ago. Sunil, Sunil started the fund. Okay, so he did, okay. And then, and then I joined this summer. So he, he raised 50 million solo, God bless him, two years ago. You know, let, let me come in towards the end of fund one. And we, 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 we've, we've announced publicly we're going we're gonna to raise our second fund early next year. Um, but so far, everything's going great. How much cash do you have left of that 50 million? Or do you um, spend it all? <laughs> we, we, have, we have plenty to do new investments. Okay, cool, so you got some dry powder. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. And you feel confident about the follow-on fund? No, no problems at all. We, we, uh, we reserve pretty heavily for the investments that we make. Awesome, so let's talk about um, uh, Venture, because we had Jerry Chen on early. We're a big fan, big fan of Jerry, big fan of what you guys are doing. And I, I'm, a, I'm almost 50, right? So like, you know, I've seen the, the generations of VCs from my friend Jim Anderson, who was a legend in the, in the VC community. You know, you had uh, Rob, you had those guys, John Doerr was a young gun, they, now he's more the senior guy. Um, and you have the new guys now coming in, so the old guys, and, but there's a huge generational shift. Well, there, you know? there, there's a generational shift that's happening in venture, and I think it's a result of the generational shift that's happening on the infrastructure side, right? So, you know, we're here at AWS reInvent, so it's worth bringing up. This cloud thing is real. You know, I think the interesting thing, if you went to reInvent, I think it was three years ago, there, there weren't that many security companies here. I mean, you walk around the floor today, there's probably two, three dozen. Um, you're, you're, not, you're not worried about security as much for consumer app as you are for enterprises. But, you know, Amazon just hired Steven Orban, the CIO of, of Dow Jones, to come and be kind of their, their guy for enterprise. Amazon is very, very, very serious about enterprises. And what you're starting to see is, you're starting to see this kind of, we, we call it at, uh, at Amplify, kind of the for us, by us movement. Right, developers at companies solving problems, realizing these problems are bigger than just them, and starting companies around it. So this is Arthur Berkman who left Wikia to start Fastly on the CDN side, or Olivier who was at News Corp and started Datadog. Um, who has a huge booth at the front, by the way. But the reason why they have a huge booth is because all of their customers are here. And it's, it's, it's interesting to us to see this trend towards these developers starting enterprise companies versus the way it used to be was you know, some product manager at EMC or a product manager at Cisco sees a gap in the market, they start a new company around it, right? So the VCs yeah, yeah. had to track those companies. Now they're coming out of these cloud infrastructure companies. And the companies. investment required was high. That's right, the investment required was high. Today, you can, you can do a lot of technical proof off of very small dollars. You know, it still, it still costs a lot of money to go out and build a sales and marketing team, but you can push that out into the future after you've proven your technology. And so I think, yeah, as, as a result, you see this, this much younger crop of, of VCs, which I would in include myself in, but you're also seeing a, a, a young crop of founders. And, and in Amplify, that was one of the reasons why Sunil and I have focused where we focus, right? We think this is where the new great companies are going to be coming from. You know, I overheard a VC talking yesterday, and um, it's, it's a young, young partner at a big firm, and one of the older partners went over and said, hey, uh, show me this Tinder thing, you have it on your phone. None of the other partners even knew what Tinder was and didn't even have it on their phone or they wouldn't admit they had it on their phone. That's but, right. But it highlights Tinder being the, the hottest app for if you're single. Um, but it, it just comes back down to that the awareness of That's the right. shift in, in consumption at the infrastructure services level and users. That's right, I, the, the, the customers look so different than they looked before, right? You no longer, have, I think James Hamilton made the comment yesterday, if you're, you're selling to us, you know, buying me Super Bowl tickets or buying me around the golf won't help you. Um, I think the same thing is true for a lot of customers that are at this show now. It's a nice dig at EMC. It is a nice dig <laughs> at EMC. 
<laughs> but, but not just, you know, I mean, EMC, All Cisco, corporate Oracle. Yeah. I mean, corporate sales, you know, the big license, wine and dine. Well, th th think, think of it this way, the, you know, the trillion dollars in market cap is taken up by the Oracles, EMCs, HPs, Symantec's, IBM's of the world, Microsoft's, what's happening to these companies? Um, you know, after HP announced their split up, IBM and IBM and Microsoft had to announce they weren't splitting up. I mean, just the fact that that announcement had to be made to me is amazing. It tells yeah, you how so much, how much you know, change we're seeing in this landscape. Well, Dave Vellante is not here, and I will comment about this all the time. We believe that the, that whole shift and that forcing function of that, that the quote split, as Mark Andreessen said, oh, everyone's going to split up someday, is from Amazon. I think Amazon clearly, and others, but mainly Amazon from an economic and just a pure disruption machine, I said, look it, customers are coming in, they're dictating the terms. They're, they're dictating the terms, but it's, it's, not, it's not just Amazon. We're seeing innovation at web scale moving into the enterprise, right? So the, the thing that's amazing is you look at the scale that Facebook runs their databases and compare it to the scale that Oracle runs their databases, right? And Oracle's not relevant to Facebook. So the new hard problems aren't being solved by Oracle. They're not being solved by IBM. It used to be if you wanted a great database engineer, you would raid the San Jose IBM office where all the database research was being done. Today, the best database people aren't at IBM. Right, they're at, they're at they're at Facebook, they're at Google, because those are the people who have the really hard or problems. Or open source projects, or open around, source projects around them. Yeah, so open source has been a big factor in that, and you've invested in some open source projects as well. Yeah, yeah. so uh, it was called Continuity. They renamed themselves Cask, but it's it's a app dev layer on top of on top of Hadoop. That's probably yeah, the today's Jonathan's birthday, actually. Th that's right. Today is Jonathan's birthday. <laughs> happy birthday, John Gray. Happy birthday to him, Jonathan Gray. Cube alumni. We good to see you out there. I went on Facebook and said happy birthday to him. That was, that was very nice of you. <laughs> but yeah, the, if you're one of these big, you know, trillion dollar about to be displaced or being displaced incumbents, you know, wh wh what do you do to solve your problems? You either you either buy yourself to maintain buyers buy companies to maintain relevance, or just throw your hands and give up. These guys still have a lot of cash. So it'll be very interesting to see what happens here over the next, uh, next couple of years. Well, it's great to see you here, and, uh, and it's, 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 it's interesting to note, I'll share with the audience, that all the top Silicon Valley VCs are here at the show. Um, certainly, not a lot of, quote, press releases have gone out because you know, they're out working. I mean, this is a, work, a working show. It's a VCs. working show. I mean, there's a lot of good action here, right? Good early stage, but also buyers. Tons right, of for buyers. For you guys, I mean, ton, ton, tons the big of buyers. guys are here and also the young guns. I, I, the, the young guns are here in force. I, I would say I think reInvent is becoming the new VM world for enterprise infrastructure. This, this is the show that if, if you're in venture for enterprise infrastructure, you have to be here. You mark your calendar for what, the, the second week in November every year. The new VMware, I like that. VMware is an awesome VMworld. show. Between VMworld, VMworld and here, I got to say are great shows. Now IBM and HP are trying to reinvent themselves. Um, let's get back, let's take a step back, talk about Amplify. So I asked Jerry Chen this question, I'll ask you. What is your investment thesis? So like, you know, good, you know, good fees lay out their thesis, and a lot of stuff, they're, they're figuring out the puzzle, yeah. and you're hunting, you're detective, use your resources, your brain, figure it out. What is your investment thesis? So our, our thesis is consistent with what we've been talking about before, it's that th this, this shift, these incumbents are changing dramatically. So the, this new wave of founders, these people who are coming out of the web scale infrastructure, either the Facebooks, Yahoo's, Google's, or companies like, like a Wiki or a News Corp, where you have people on the inside solving problems. It's this new, younger class of founder that are going to displace this trillion dollars of market cap, and we are focused on early stage enterprise infrastructure. So, you know, okay. we, we partner with all of these other uh, big firms. Is there segments in particular, or is it a pretty broad stroke there? Well, we're only enterprise. So, okay. you know, you know, mentioned Jerry at Greylock. You know, Greylock does lots and lots of uh, e-commerce and things like that, and digital media. We don't do any of that. So cloud, security, big data, storage, DevOps. For us, that's a, that's a lot of ground to cover. So what if a, a business buys uh, digital media infrastructure? Is that an enterprise play, or is that? Who is, we, 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 we invest in technical founders who sell to technical buyers. So okay. pro probably okay. not. That's, that's um, a little bit cleaner, tighter. Um, yeah, sometimes there's, there's exceptions, but we're, we're really trying to be core tech in IT. And we, look, we think there's a lot of other great firms out there that can they awesome. can hit their markets and they know well. We, we think we win by being focused. And we think the you know, entrepreneurs that we, in, that we invest in, that we work with, win through our focus as well. All right, so really technical founders, so the technical buyers that could morph into something bigger. Sure, absolutely. And, and, and so, you know, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll use another example. There's a security company we just, we just invested in, right? Comes out, of, comes out of, you know, the IDF in Israel. And um, 
these are deep security guys, you know, they were involved in, in Stuxnet, but they can't exactly tell you where. And the people who are buying the, the, this, you know, the product this company is selling is, you know, the CISOs at, you know, Fortune 500 companies. Um, that's exactly the sort of thing we're, we're, we're looking to, to focus on, right? Um, awesome. Well, we can talk about that at RSA next year, but um, look, I think focusing on enterprise is important because the, the buyers are the same and the types of go-to-market problems are the same. The technologies differ from company to company, um, but we think we're in a massive secular bull market for, for and the enterprise space in the next 10, 15, 20 years, so we're really, really excited about it. We're here with Mike Dauber, Amplify Partners, a new hot VC firm, a lot of young guns, small firm, they're doing smaller checks. What kind of check sizes are you guys uh, writing? Cur current fund is in the million to two million range, um, but we're, we're first money in typically in the companies we work so with. So Series A or seed, whatever. Series A seed, yeah. Okay, got it, okay. So what do you think of uh, your results so far, scouring the uh, landscape here at the event? The keynotes were pretty awesome. This is overall a great event. What have you learned as you turn it over the dirt to look for those diamonds? I think, I think uh, well, two things I learned. One is, you know, one is, you don't want to compete with Amazon, right? If, if, you're, in, if you're in a space that, that Am, if you're in a space that Amazon thinks they have proficiency in, they're going to go after you and they're going to drive the cost down to zero. Um, if you get a chance to watch James Hamilton's talk from yesterday, it was fantastic, but. He came on earlier, he was awesome. Yeah, it, James is second to none, but you do not want to be in business competing with him. Um, the resources he has and the, the amount of money he has to throw at problems, yeah, Am Amazon is going to win those battles. You want to be building value-added services on top of AWS. I think the other thing is... And Jassy's also a chess master too. He is, you, you don't want to get in a fight with those guys. And I think the other, the other, the other big learning is um, Amazon is really focused on the enterprise now. Two, three years ago, I didn't think that was the case, but they are making a commitment to say, we are going to work with CIOs to move you to the, move you to the cloud, which means for us in the venture world, I think the time is clearly now to be looking for, if we haven't already, look found companies to help, help enterprises move to the cloud. Okay, so let's get back to your job, which is to bet on horses. Bet on okay, horses. In this ecosystem of Amazon, what kind of horses are you going to invest on? Obviously I, ones that aren't going to compete with Amazon. Yeah, I, I think the one obvious hole that Amazon has not gone after and will be hard for them to, to manage themselves is security. And I think that's where you're, you are going to see a lot, of, a lot of solutions pop up and you're going to see some big winners around security, just, just so I don't just pump, amplify companies. Like, great example, I think, of a company who's made a lot of noise, and justifiably so, is the Lumio guys. Yep. Um, you know, very, very exciting company. I really enjoy what, you know, talking to those guys. Andrew Rubin's done a great job there. But I think there's a huge opportunity for third-party security vendors in the cloud to be successful. Because if you're an enterprise, security matters deeply. It's the biggest concern people had over the last couple years. As enterprises are starting to be more aggressive in the cloud, Security is one of the first things you have to solve, and I think that's what, that's what you're going to see a lot of. Okay, final question, big data in the cloud. Is, is big data now a dead sector? Meaning, I mean, you have Hadoop as a sector of the market, you have a lot of established players, but in a way, cloud absorbs the big data as a fabric. So does that change the dynamics of big data? So what's the big data relationship? Because there's an undertone here, big data. But yeah. it's not like big data show. So I, 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 I'll tell you a combination answer to that in my kind of viewpoint coming out of Strata, which is you know, the big data space, the building block era is over, right? You know, two, three years ago, you could start a company that was a Lego block, and if it was a good Lego block, I think you could be successful. I think today in that space, you have to be very solution oriented, and I think part of it is because of what you said with Amazon, right? Amazon's going to create solutions in the big data space as well, and I don't think people de delineate between, well, I have a big data problem versus a, you know, just a, a data problem. And so I think the, the solutions really need to be, be being built here as opposed to, you know, John, here's a bunch of Lego blocks and put it together. Okay, so prediction for next year. What do you think Amazon's going to work on given the trajectory coming out of this show? That's a great question. I, I think you're going to see a lot more solutions targeted at, squarely at the enterprise CEO, CIO come out next year. Um, you know, they did a great job with with uh, the Aurora announcement this time. Um, you know, they, they made the announcement around Docker. Um, I think you're going to see... I guess the early, early wins, wins came in, CIA, in investment commu uh, oh, yeah. intelligence community. Yeah, I mean, I, I th that's I th our government. It's What, it, moving that fast? If, this, if the CIA can be, uh, can be on Amazon, then anyone can be on Amazon, right? Um, I think we're going to see more solutions that really cater to the CIO as opposed to you know, the, the 25 year old startup co-founder yeah. in Soma. Mike Dabber, Amplify Partners, one of, the, one of the hot young guns, rising stars in, in the community. Obviously, Amplify is a new firm. Um, 
Uh, you know, we had uh, Ryan Floyd on, great Storm Bench, another, another great firm to work with in the enterprise, and of course, uh, Jerry Chen at Greylock. Uh, great, great job. Thanks for coming on theCUBE and sharing Th your perspective. Th thanks for having me, I mean, you're John. good, we should do six pack of cores questions, because you're like, nail on this thing, all right. Uh, if, cores, I, if you're watching, we want some sponsorship, we'll do uh, six pack of cold questions for uh, Mike <laughs> Dauber. I appreciate it, man, ha right. uh, thanks again. All right, Mike Dauber with Amplify Partners. This is theCUBE, we are live here at Amazon reInvent. We'll be right back after this short break. <laughs>